for that $25 donation, they get a free mini portrait session and special discounted, excuse me, special package pricing for Monica Sigmund Photography. We do it for one day, 10 minute appointments, dogs come in every 10 minutes, it's a zoo, literally. Um, we, again, design beautiful posters that match the invitations. We take them to all the vets, all of the pet stores, all the grooming facilities. Um, be generous. This stuff's not expensive. We can all print it at Burrell. Make counter cards for all the vets in the area. Partner with a charity and a, and a vet or whatever that's going to have a great mailing list that's going to get these out for you and mail them to their best customers and call their best customers. Make this graphic something emailable and something Facebookable so that it matches and you've built that brand and now everybody's seeing this cute dog and oh yeah, oh yeah, there's a pet thing going on. What's this? Oh, that's Monica. Yeah, what's she doing? So they're seeing it over and over and over again, right? So you have to do the work and get this all consistent. Again, we've got templates if you want them. It's a lot easier to spend your time making these connections than it is um, trying to reinvent the wheel. We offer special collection pricing only on that day. We offer, um, oh my God, people love Christmas cards with their dogs. They go bananas. So in the spring, we offer calendars. In the fall, we offer um, metallic, Kodak metallic, five by seven. We do them as a um, proof. When you go to the Rose catalog, we just order like 50 of them on the proof set, so they're really cheap. Kodak metallic paper, they've never seen anything like it. They can't get that at Target. They can't get that at PetSmart Santa Pictures. So they love those. We offer them four templates. Um, and Burrell just started offering these beautiful leather goods, which um, wallets, keychains, tag, um, unbelievable stuff, like the key fobs mm -hmm. everybody loves. They cost us $16, so you can sell them for $35 or $40, and they're heavy and they're thick and people love them, and they buy them with all their dogs on them. Mm -hmm. It's bananas. All right, I'm going to give you a quick couple of pointers, because how many of you feel comfortable photographing dogs? Yay! Okay, maybe you guys can give me some pointers. We'll go through really quickly. Um, noise. You gotta keep changing the noise. They are like children. You can't keep singing the same song to the two-year-old and getting that expression that you got the first time they heard it, right? So change it up. Use squeakers. Jiggle your car keys. Knock on the door behind you. Knock on the window. If you're doing window light portraits, put mom outside the window so that you get that beautiful profile shot of the dog looking out into the window light. That works really well. Um, get a chip bag. They love the rustling of a chip bag. Bark. Michael? <laughs> Michael is the best barker. You cannot have any, um, any, what is it called? Like, you have to leave your ego at the door when you're photographing. Any dignity, exactly, yeah. 